Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to talk about the transportation problem, linear programming problem, uh, which I am going to solve with a Python library that is called as Perl. Uh, but first of all, uh, let me explain for you the problem which we are going to solve in this Perl. And so as you know that in a transportation problem, the objective uh, of the linear programming problem is to minimize the transportation cost. Uh, that is our objective function. Uh, let me show you. That is, this is uh, the objective function that we want to minimize the total transportation cost, where i is representing the source, j is representing the destination. So we have m sources, we have n destination, and f from every source we can uh, transport the products to the destination and the subject we have two constraints one is a supply or you can say the capacity constraint another is a demand constraint so capacity that means every source capacity that means destination that means uh, demand constraint mean every destination's demand constraint and in the end we have a non-negativity that means the production quantity must be positive Okay, the problem which we are going to solve is we have uh, four, uh, you can say, mills or you can say four branches that is A, B, C, D, and we have uh, four demand zones which is one, two, three, four, five. And this is the value that is given that is, this is the supply, uh, or you can say the capacity constraints that is, uh, branch A can produce maximum 35 ton of flow. Branch B can produce 50 ton of flow and C and D. Similarly, we have given the demand and then the transportation cost uh, per unit is given, which is uh, for uh, A2, uh, you can say demand zone one, from branch A to demand zone two and so on. So how we can implement this one uh, in, a, in a pulp that is, First of all, uh, let me show you that because we have uh, four uh, demand zones, four supply zones. Okay, so these are the supply zones, these are the demand. So that means this is I and J. So um, for the index uh, perspective, uh, in order to apply in a pulp, we need a four, uh, sorry, two list. One is for the branches, that is ABC. And then we have declared uh, warehouses. But before that, because we are going to use uh, pulp, so we need to call uh, from pulp import step. So that means we are calling the pulp library and then um, we are defining the branch uh, index that is I as well as we are defining the J index that is a warehouses which has the demand. Uh, which are having the demand that is so these are the two uh, lists then we have uh, to indicate the supply perspective that how much quantity we can supply from uh, branch a how much quantity we can supply from branch b and so on so for that i have used a dictionary that is called as supply similarly i have indicated the demand with using the dictionary that is um, demand zone one, how much demand they are asking, uh, similarly warehouse two, how much quantity they are asking and so on. And lastly, the data given is that is a transportation cost. For that, I have used a dictionary within a dictionary that is cost. So which means uh, from branch A to uh, from branch A to warehouse one, how much cost is occurring from branch A to warehouse 2. So how we can represent this, that is from branch A, uh, then column sign, we have a dictionary within a dictionary that is warehouse 1 per unit cost, warehouse 2 per unit cost, and so on. Similarly from branch B, warehouse 1 per unit cost, and so on. So this is the total cost. So we have represented the indexes, we have represented in the data set now we want to going to define the linear programming model so the first thing we need to define is to define 
what kind of problem is so using the pulp uh, function that is lp problem make sure your l is capital p is capital for the problem so using this lp problem we are uh, going to tell that this problem is a minimization problem so this has mainly two uh, parameters one is the name of the problem which i have written as a transportation comma then lp minimize if it is a maximization case you can write lp maximize okay then uh, i'm going to tell it uh, about the routing uh, idea that is ij how they can root it so i'm defining a variable root so that is uh, you can say a list or list in which i am saying ij is an index or a variable from i n branches that is uh, we have defined over here and j in warehouses so i have defined a variable in which i have mentioned all the relationship between branches as well as a warehouse so later we will use this particular variable in order to represent uh, this entire thing from branch a to warehouse uh, one two three four five from branch b to warehouse one two three four five uh, by the way next uh, after defining the problem we need to define a, uh, you can say the cn variable so we have uh, the cn variable that is called as uh, branch as well as warehouse so how we can define this one that is we are indicating that uh, lp variable dot dictionary dicts um, and then we can use amount shift so that is basically i have given the name of xij that is amount shipment from where from branch to warehouse that is from branch to warehouse which we have given the indexes and then we are indicating uh, the lower uh, limit and then there is no need to tell the upper limit so it's fine so that the decision variable cannot be negative so so using this a command we have declared the decision variables and we are uh, uh, storing it in a amount underscore variable now we are going to define the decision variable uh, sorry the objective function so what we will do so remember that uh, where we have stored our problem uh, while defining the problem set whether it's a maximization or minimization we have use the called prop so whatever the variable you are using you have to uh, use the same name in order to define uh, the objective function as well as the constraints so uh, so for defining the objective function again we are using the same name problem variable and plus equal mean that we are going to add the objective function of this variable okay as well as equal means so this is objective function so what's objective function that is amount xij that is amount okay xij means uh, i is branch j is warehouse multiply by cost ij which is we have defined the dictionary that is ij okay so that is basically cij multiply by xij and uh, we need to sum them so that's why we are using the function called lp sum of the pulp for uh, for i and comma j in roots so uh, that is this one so if you don't want to use this one so you need to use this one over uh, in place of roots right so this is the objective function where we are calculating the total transportation cost so the next thing is we need to define uh, the supply as well as the demand constraint so first i am going to define the demand constraint that for all j okay so for all j uh, let me show you for all j in warehouse right what you need to do that is calculate the total amount which we are shipping from i to j for i in branches that is from a b c d must be greater than the demand uh, to j right for every j similarly we are defining the supply constraint that is for i in branches so again we are storing the constraint in the problem variable so lp sum so this is a supply constraint now 
we set the problem that is a minimization we define the objective function as well as we have to find the constraints uh, let me run again this is run 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 so i am going to uh, executing these commands now we can solve this uh, problem so this prop is the variable which we have used to store uh, the entire linear programming problem then we can use dot solve uh, in order to solve the problem so if we are getting the one that is indicating that problem is optimally solved so we can also check the exact status or you can check that you can write on print status so this is just the command which you want to uh, print it out that is the status is will be printed as it is then in order to check whether it is optimum or unbounded or uh, infeasible whatever so you need to write on lp status again the variable which we are using that is uh, in which the entire problem is stored dot status we can run this so we are getting the optimum solution now i am going to get the variables answers so in order to get the variable answer so we need to write on for v in problem dot variable so prop is a variable in which we have stored the entire problem so we are saying in this um, variable uh, we have stored the entire linear programming problem extract all the variables okay and only print those variables value which have uh, answers more than zero okay if there is an answer is zero so there is no need to write out so due to this if condition only those variables answer will be displayed which having more than uh, zero's answer then we are saying print v dot name that is a variable name uh, equal v value so that v is basically the loop v dot name okay so but we have given the name that is amount uh, that is that amount shape okay so that's why he is they are writing amount shape from branch a which we have declared over here branch and warehouse so it is branch branch is a b c d and warehouse is one two three four so they are saying from branch a to warehouse four we need to ship 34 quantity of the floor then amount ship from a branch b to three we need to ship 50 and so on and then in the end we are displaying the objective function answer that is basically using print uh, total uh, you can see cost so this was mistaken so this is basically the total uh, you can see total uh, transportation cost okay so that this is a, trans a total transportation cost which is 960 i hope you understand thank you so much see you in the next video